Today we'll learn about earthquakes. Nature works in mysterious ways, along with providing us the best environment to live in. It also provides some calamities. Hmm, turn on your laptop and browse a few newspapers. There's always something destructive happening somewhere because of nature's sheer power. For instance, such natural occurrences are tornadoes, hurricanes, wildfires, flooding, volcanic eruptions, and earthquakes. These natural devastations are generally not caused directly by humans, but their reactions or after effects live with us for a very long time span. In this video, we'll study about one of these natural destructive occurrences, earthquakes. Imagine that you're studying in a classroom and suddenly the floor begins to shake. Oh, books and other things fall off of the desk and you might be thrown from your seat. That's what happens when an earthquake occurs. Earthquakes are the shaking, rolling or sudden shock on the Earth's surface. More than a million earthquakes harm the world each and every year. The West Coast is most earthquake prone but earthquakes can happen in the Midwest and also along the East Coast. Look closely and see how it happens. The surface of our Earth is like a jigsaw puzzle. It's not a single piece of land, but around 20 pieces of a puzzle that slowly move. Each one of these puzzle pieces are known as tectonic plates. Whenever those plates bump, smash or slide past another plate, an earthquake happens. The surface where these plates slip is known as a fault. Ah, looks like you're getting scared. Don't worry, most of the time the quakes are so small that we don't even feel them. Sometimes they are so strong that it can be felt over a thousand miles away. Earthquakes are of many types. It can be felt as a shot under your feet or may be very powerful and destructive enough to destroy an entire city. The plates where the earthquakes originate is known as the hypocenter. The plate where it occurs on the Earth's surface is known as the epicenter. Let's learn about the types of earthquakes. Earthquakes can be classified in three main forms depending on the plate movements that occur under the Earth's surface. First one is convergent boundary. In this, one plate is forced over another plate during the movement and thus creating a thrust fault. The second one is the divergent boundary. In this, plates are forced apart from each other, usually forming a rift zone. Ah, uh, third is transform fault. In this, the plates slip by each other. This is also known as strike slip. Let's see how scientists study earthquakes. Ah, here it is. They use a seismograph or seismometer. It is an instrument that measures and records seismic waves that move through the earth as the result of an earthquake. The earthquake that hit the Tohoku region of Japan on March 11, 2011 had a magnitude of 9.0 and killed over 16,000 people. A very powerful and devastating earthquake occurred in Valdivia, Chile in 1960. It had a magnitude of 9.5. The April 2015 Nepal earthquake killed over 9,000 and injured more than 22,000 people. An earthquake can be a terrifying event. By taking proper safety precautions, you can help limit that terror. Let's study about some safety tips during an earthquake. Drop, cover, and hold on. Stay indoors until the shaking stops. If you're in a bed, hold on and stay there only. Try protecting your head with a pillow. If you're outdoors, find a clear spot away from buildings, power lines, and tall trees. Here are some safety tips after an earthquake. Be prepared for aftershocks. Do not enter a building that shows damage. Turn off gas, electricity, and water. Do not spread rumors. You know a lot about earthquakes now. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and always help others.